Welcome you one to your maths learning for today. It is Friday the 12th of February 2021 and it is your last maths lesson before you have a week off and a good rest. So your retrieval is your 2D and 3D shapes, thinking about what the names of them are and then using the properties to describe them and identify them. So I think using that, those, that key vocabulary, vertices, corners, faces, okay, sides, all of the, those key words that we have learned. Then you may want to look at your calendar as always for the day and your months of the year, thinking about the seasons, okay? And then our learning today. So what we are learning to do is find all the number facts for a number sentence. All that means, all a number sentences to be successful is um, five add two equals or 10 take three equals. They're all just number sentences. To find all the number facts or is where to find to move those numbers around and create other number sentences using the same numbers okay and then that what that does is those number facts create what we call a fact family but we'll talk more about that so what do you remember about subtraction so just a recap what ways can we subtract what methods can we use and what manipulatives can we use have a think pause if you need to share with somebody else or write that down and then the same but just thinking about addition and adding the same questions what do you remember what ways can we add and then hopefully what we can use to help you is or everything we spoke about over the last few weeks. And then we did share that if you have those if you don't have those resources at home, you can use your own objects around the house. So you can, these are the objects you can use, jottings, number lines, number lines are the main one we've been looking at and we've been getting really good at. But for our fact families and our number sentences, we all want you to look at this link. So click on this link below. And this will teach you and talk you through. It's only a two sort of minute video, Fact Families. It's a lovely little song. So I hope you enjoy that. Okay, so pause here, play this video, and then come back on, and then we'll talk through the next few slides. So <clears throat> using your cut up number sentence, so you will have, I've, got, I've created a document with the number sentence on in, in like a grid. So you just need to cut that up so you've got lots of different squares and cards or just squares, and you need to create this first number sentence for me. So the six add four is the same as 10, okay? So can you create and make that number sentence below first? That's your first job. So pause here to do that, cut it up, and lay it out in that order for me. So the questions are, how else can you represent this using the same numbers? So the idea is, is you've got your cards laid out, you've got that number sentence laid out, you need to then keep them as they are, but see if you can move any of those numbers around and then to check to see if that number sentence makes sense or if it works. Okay, so what are its other number facts? What could you work this out? How could you work this out, sorry? What can you use to help you work this out? And how can you check? So that's where using your manipulatives or your methods this week, you can use those to support you to check that when you move your numbers around in the number sentence that it does make sense. It does work. So remember, these are a family. So the same three numbers have to stay together, okay? And they have to stay the same. We cannot change the numbers or use different numbers, okay? We have to use the same numbers. And I've written that a few times, so that's really important. So we're moving those numbers around within that number sentence to create other number sentences. So here you've got six add four equals 10, or is the same as 10. So can you record all the number sentences within, within the fact family? How many number sentences are there for this fact family? So we've got addition there. So what other number sentences can you create from this, what addition ones, and then change your symbol, okay, to a, a, a subtraction, and then see what number sentence you can create with that. Okay, so we'll go through a couple, but I don't want to give you all the answers, and you can create your own, and then I've got another one for you to try with this one, which is a little bit harder. So here for 6 add 4 equals 10, hopefully you will know that you can swap those numbers around and you could have 4, 4 add 6 is the same as 10. Okay, the numbers have stayed the same, we've just moved those around. You might then have the number sentence 10 is the same as, and just move it around slightly, but the numbers stay the same, 4 add 6. You might want to have 10 is the same as 6 add 4. So already from just this one number sentence, I've created another three addition number sentences. Okay? So then what I'd want you to do after you've done that 
is to have a go with the subtraction. So how can you change that to a subtraction number sentence? So just changing that symbol. So this time you might have 10 take away or 10 subtract 6 is the same as 4. You might have 10 subtract 4 is the same as 6. You might have um Let me see if there's any others that we haven't covered yet. So we haven't had 10 is the same as, oh no, 4 is the same as 10 take away 6. Or 6, is that long? Okay, or 6 is the same as 10 take away 4. You see, the numbers have stayed the same. I've just moved them around and I've moved the symbols around slightly. Okay? So, that's how you can do that one. And then see if you can check those and see if it makes sense. Because can you do 6 take away 4 equals 10? Does that work? Does that make sense? So, there's your other one to try. And you can create your own number sentences and do the same, as many as you'd like. And then, as always, we've got a fly high. So, can you explain your thinking in this question? Use the first number sentence to complete the second number sentence. So using your knowledge from the first number sentence, what fact family or fact family can you create from that? Okay. I've attached all these documents to support you. I've got the cut up sentences, uh, cut up number sentences for you on the grid that you can cr cut out. I've also got the fly high um, on a sheet for you to do. And then as always, please share your learning with us on the parent support. And have a lovely, lovely week off and a good break. And enjoy Shrove Tuesday. Enjoy your pancakes. See you after half term. Stay safe.